Hi everyone, it's Tish with Neptune Creations. I hope you guys are all doing good and you're having a good day. Today we're going to be doing a 12 by 24 traveling paint kiss pour and I'm going to be using the Artist Loft Premix Ready to Pour paints in black, white, and gold. And I have two little nine ounce cups here. I'm not going to fill them up all the way. I'm basically just going to be using everything that's in these bottles. These are just little four ounce bottles. And one cup, I'm just going to try to go... Um, darkest to lightest color, but I didn't really end up doing that. I'm just kind of trying to alternate the colors and then I'll do opposite in this cup here, kind of starting with the gold instead of the black like I did with the other cup. And these paints you can get at Michael's. I'll link them down below in the description. Um, 12 ounces was just about all I needed for this canvas, which was nice. I did end up having to take a little bit of white from a different bottle that I had. Um, they sell the 16 ounce bottles in store. These little bottles came in like a holiday gift set, but um, the paints are kind of expensive. So if you guys do decide to pick these up, definitely use a coupon. Um, you can Google their coupon and get like 40% off if they're not on sale anyway. I like these paints because they dry super, super glossy, um, which is really nice. And you'll see at the end, I'll show you. It's just like, it looks like it, the paint already has been varnished or the painting's already been varnished. And the bottles, after I was done filling my cups up, I just put them upside down on the canvas here, let them sit for a few minutes and just making sure I get all that paint out of the bottles. And then I'm going to go in with my gloved hand and just smooth that paint out. I found that if you do this, it kind of breaks the surface tension um, and helps your paint glide a little bit easier. And this is that little bit of extra white I was using from my bigger bottle in this cup here because the cup on the left was a little bit full, more full, and then the cup on the right needed a little bit more to catch up to the cup on the left. You want your cups to be basically the exact same amount because you don't want one cup to run out for this technique. You want to have it be even. So I smoothed out the edges and let's jump in and get pouring. So I'm just going to start in the bottom left corner here and go across the canvas all the way to the top right corner, trying to go at an even pace, pouring your paint out at an even pace from both cups. And then they're touching in midair, hence the paint kiss technique. This technique is a lot of fun though because it gives you some really, really nice lines. And I love lines in my paintings but check it out, look how cool it looks. And I'm just gonna go in on the edges here and pour the rest of what's in my cup out. Now that that's just about done, we're gonna get ready to start tilting, but check it out. Look at how fun, and these paints, I wanna say they're like almost transparent, so they really kind of sit on top of each other and then you can see the, un the colors, other colors that are underneath, if that makes sense. You'll see once I get it all tilted. I got some fun gray too, which was cool. So I just brought it up to the top right corner, then back to the middle. And I'm gonna go to the bottom right corner, try to get that paint to reach all the way to the edge. And I have a few other 12 by 24 traveling paint kiss pour videos that I've done previously, and they both turned out really, really awesome. I'll link them down below in the description. Um, those ones I used my Primal Flow pre-mixed ready to pour paints, and I'll put an iCard right here in the corner. Just click that and it'll take you straight to the video. I really ended up loving how this one turned out, so I'm going to be making two more um, to try to match. I'm going to put them up like in the hallway in my house because I think that'd be really fun to just have like three or maybe even four of these going across on the wall. So I'm going to be trying to recreate this one, so keep your, gut, keep your eyes peeled for that video and make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed so you don't miss it. And the edges even turned out really fun with the lines. So I'm just going to touch up the um, corners, any spots where I didn't get any paint. You want to make sure you give it a good look. Make sure you touch up any spot that's missing some paint. And then I'll bring you guys in for a close-up. So here's the bottom left corner. And you can see right here how you 
you can kind of tell like the shadowy effect of the paint. It's almost transparent. Like I said, you can see the black coming up there through the white. Just as a really fun look for your paintings. And that gold's really nice and metallic and pretty. So I'm going to let this guy dry and I will show you guys what it looks like when it's all nice and dry and hanging up on the wall, probably about 24, 48 hours. It's a bigger painting, so it might take a little bit longer to dry. And here it is, all nice and dry, hanging up on the wall. It's got a really nice glossy finish. It's hard to tell. The camera just wasn't really picking it up. These, um, basically these paints are kind of hard to get on video just because they are so glossy. It's almost like if you guys have tried to video or photograph resin, it's really reflective. So it's kind of hard to get in there and give you an accurate reading or photo or video of what it actually looks like but I tried my best so hopefully you guys get the gist of it and I wanted to show you what it looks like horizontally too so here it is horizontally I kind of like it this way too let me know in the comments if you guys prefer it vertically or horizontally um, I just wanted to show you guys both ways so you can kind of get an idea if you decide to try this technique um, let me know in the comments if you guys have tried the traveling paint kiss technique it's one of my favorites and be sure to go check out my other traveling paint kiss videos I'll link them down below in the description thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you liked it and if you did go ahead and leave me a like or another thing that would really help me out is if you go watch a few more of my other videos or even a playlist um, I'll link my acrylic pouring playlist down below and I'll put an i card right here up in the corner just click that and it'll take you straight to my acrylic pouring playlist Thanks again, guys. I hope you're having a great day, and I will see you guys on Wednesday for another video.